Hey everybody, welcome back to Christmas Decor. Today we're gonna make some Valentine's Day bouquets. I'm gonna do three with candy and flowers for a girl and some stuffed animals and then I'm gonna do a beer mug with um, beef jerky and scratch off tickets. So that could be for your honey bun. So I'm gonna quickly go through what I've purchased at the dollar store and Walmart and then we're gonna get making the bouquets. So first thing you want to use is your skewers or wooden sticks. Um, you can get these from any craft store or Walmart. Um, we ran out of some, but Chris had bought these big ones and we cut them into three. So you want to make sure you have them because these are going to help. These are how you create the candy bouquet. We found these cool little boxes um, from the Dollar Tree. I love this one that has a little truck on it. So Happy Valentine's Day, fresh delivery and then a heart one. Then I picked up some roses with hearts in them. So these are at the dollar store. You can get a, um, a bushel for one dollar. And then I picked up some balloons. Um, comes on a stick. So I grabbed three of these balloons for a dollar. And then for the male um, gift mug we're gonna make, I got this at the dollar store. And we're gonna fill it with tissue paper and styrofoam. We're gonna use a lot of tickets and beef jerky. So we picked up these two mini bags of beef jerky from the dollar store. And then we got some lotto tickets. So I'm gonna make one with that. Um, next, you're gonna need the styrofoam. We got these at the dollar store. And then candy. So I got about six or seven of these candies. We're gonna do a variety. Uh, we got M&M's, we got Baby Ruth. So I'm gonna put three candies per stick. The next thing is we have these glitter hearts. These are from the dollar store. So we're gonna add them into our bouquet to give it some little cute um, heart love. And then I picked up a couple of stuffed animals. We got this monkey, this bear, and I'm going to incorporate that as well into the bouquet. And then one other thing we're going to make today is going to be tree heart, uh, trees with heart candies. So we got these um, foam, foam cones and we are going to put conversation hearts on them. We're going to hot glue them to make it like a little candy tree for the decor. And I got a mirror, so when we're done, we're going to place that on there to give it um, a cool little decoration. You'll see the reflection of the tree as well. That was at the dollar store. And then we got this little honeybee one, and we're going to put the other one on top when we're finished. So that gives it um, a little more uh, decoration to your tree with a little stopper. So I'm going to organize, and then we're going to do one by one. So let's get to it. So right now you're going to um, get your candy sticks ready. So I am doing three candies at a time for each stick. So you want to glue them on. Make sure you look how you want it because it's backwards so that you can glue it on right. So the front of your bouquet looks how you want it to be. So I chose four different candies for this one and use one stick for each. So just glue it, push it on. Move on to your next one.
have our first bouquet, and this has the little bear as a centipede, the balloon, and the fork and fish. Okay, let's break it and then move on to the next one. a different um, stuffed animal and balloon for this one. But same thing, get your styrofoam, push it in the middle. I want to start with my balloon first. So I'm going to put that in the back and then I'm going to work my way around it so you kind of have a little flow going on. sure when you're using this box, don't cut them too low because you have to be able to see them when you stick them in. And then this one, I'm going to use my little monkey. So, let's see how I can do this. Alright. Okay, so let's here we go. My little monkey is my little centipede. And this bouquet is done. Hope you like it. The last one I made, I just threw it together. It's a smaller box, but um, I love it. I love this little monkey because he can wrap his bands around stuff. He's really cute. So here's my last bouquet, and then we're gonna do the beer mug lotto ticket one. So I'm gonna put the set of tissue paper in first for this one because I don't want to damage it. I want to get this piece of styrofoam and place that in the middle. Okay, so right there, that one is ready, but I am um, going to start gluing the lotto tickets and the beef jerky, and then we'll arrange this one. Today I'm um, starting on these little heart cones using conversation hearts. I'm just hot gluing them all around. I was trying to go down in a straight line, but obviously that's not going to work because this is a cone shape. So I'm just trying to rotate the colors. I found it helpful to dump your candy in a bowl. That way you can kind of just go. The one bag I had had no pink and purple, so I had to dump another bag. So I'm just following down, you can work your way around or you could just go up and down with the candies and you just want to fill this, make sure you try to get them as close as possible so they don't have many gaps in between them. So, and then when I'm done for this, I'm going to pick a topper to put at the top of this little candy tree. And I chose a pink rose. So I'm going to put that on as soon as we're done. So here's my finished product and I put it on this little mirror to show the reflection. I hope you guys like it. On to my second one, I added some of the felt hearts in the front. I put five of them at first. Um, they're sticky but I glued them on and then I attached um, my little glitter heart at the top. And then this one, I kind of was trying to make the hearts tighter filled. So I was rotating between putting them upside down and 
again, right side up to form them tighter. This worked out better. And then I put this on my little honeybee stand that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. And I love how this came out and the flowers really make it pop. So here's my finished product. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my video. And tell your friends and family, thank you for your love and support. And I will see you on my next video. Have a great day.